Ken Thompson, T-H-O-M-S-O-N, working Battalion 4, San Diego Fire Rescue. Hey, could you uh, tell me what happened here this evening or how the fire was? We department? got a call at 2354 for a vehicle rescue at 63rd and Elk Home Boulevard. Our station's at 62nd and Acorn, so obviously our response time was in about a minute, minute and a half to get out and get over here. We came upon a car that was on its roof and it was a full rescue. We had to use the, uh, the Maltro and the Jaws to uh, cut the victim out of the car. There's one person inside the car who worked him and uh, he was declared dead at the scene. How many uh, units uh, responded? We responded with uh, an engine, a truck, a medic rig, a battalion chief, and rescue four from downtown, our heavy rescue unit. Now, is there anything else that you can think of that maybe uh, you've overlooked here? No, the vehicle is traveling obviously at a high rate of speed, sheared uh, a street light here, so we had a little problem with electrical. It also broke a pipe at the Wells Fargo building, so we had a water issue. We had to shut off the water issue. We have streets division coming out to uh, take care of the problem, the electrical problem with the sheared street light. Anything else, uh, That's it. Alrighty, thank you very much, sir. Okay. Uh, David Rohowitz, R-O-H-O-W-I-T-S. I'm a lieutenant with San Diego PD. Uh, tonight, just before midnight, uh, two of our officers were in the area of 5200 El Cajon Boulevard uh, when they saw a vehicle driving erratically. Uh, the vehicle appeared to be trying to engage the officers in some kind of a speed contest. Uh, the officers uh, slowed down, pulled behind the vehicle, and turned their emergency lights and siren on. At that point, uh, the vehicle decided not to stop. Uh, the driver uh, turned southbound on 53rd Street onto Trojan, and then he looped back around, came back up on 52nd Street, um, and then went eastbound El Cone Boulevard at a high rate of speed. The officers struggled to keep up with the guy. Uh, the vehicle was eastbound uh, at a, in about the 5500 block of El Cajon Boulevard. The officers recognized at that point that there was no way they were going to catch the driver, so they abandoned the pursuit. Uh, they put the information out on the radio and uh, were actively looking for the vehicle that they had been chasing. Uh, other officers were beginning to come into the area. Uh, two officers were going westbound El Cajon Boulevard at a, in approximately the 6400 block of El Cajon Boulevard. Uh, they saw, they actually saw the crash happen. They saw this black car that's behind me, or what was a black car, it's a, a black 2004 Pontiac, uh, hit the street sign on the southwest corner of 63rd and Alcon Boulevard. Uh, the vehicle rolled and the driver was trapped inside the vehicle. Uh, fire department was on scene fairly quickly and they were able to extricate the, the person from the vehicle. Um, he's a He's a 20-year-old male. Um, his, his, uh, we're not releasing his name at this point until next of kin can be notified, and he was pronounced dead at the scene by uh, by paramedics. We were not actively in, in pursuit at the time that the crash occurred. Um, we were just, the officers that were coming into the air were trying to find the vehicle to see if they were if they were able to stop it. Thank cool. you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. No problem.